Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday, May the 3rd. I can't believe it's May already. Uh, and today is in our National Paranormal Day. Ooh. <laughs> so, I looked that up yesterday and I thought that was so funny. I was like, I have to do this one. <laughs> so, I made the most adorablest, littlest, tiniest, little baby paranormal um, creature. <laughs> Okay, my air kicked on, I had to turn it off. <laughs> Anyways, this adorable little thing. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. It's called uh, Howl, The Littlest Ghost by Jennifer, er, Tiffany Horton. Sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> so adorable and little, and there's no sewing whatsoever, except if you count these as sewing. But it's made in one piece, and super quick. I made this last night. I don't even know, 20 minutes. <laughs> um, I was getting ready to play some Minecraft with Devin and I wanted to whip this up real fast to share with you guys today. So it's made uh, with Red Heart Super Saver white yarn. This is a little scrap of pink, I'm not sure what the color is, and then a little tiny strand of black. And you start up here and you work your way down. These little arms are bobble stitches that are made into the piece. And then when you get down here, you make this little ruffly ghost part, <laughs> the bottom of the ghost. Um, on the row you, you do it in just the front loop only and then you continue to decrease in the back loop only and then regular down so it's super cute what I did is I got two about right here and I did the eyes and the cheeks and the mouth so that it's easier to do before you close it you know <laughs> uh, it's got a little bit of fiber fill in it just a little tiny bit it's tiny I don't know if you can see how tiny it is it's tiny <laughs> but um, yeah it's so cute I made it with uh, an elf hook and worsted weight yarn and I used my pumpkin stitch marker because <laughs> it's Halloweeny and it's so cute very easy like beginner friendly I would say because it's super easy and quick I did just use little safety eyes you could probably crochet little eyes or even stitch them on if you wanted I'm planning on getting a felting needle because I want to learn how to felt uh, amigurumi eyes and cheeks and things like that that's one of my goals I want to do that but I think he's so cute and it's a free pattern. It's on Ravelry, but it goes through to their website, which is um, Cafe Del Craft. Cafe Del Craft. So cute. I'm probably gonna make a ton of these. I told Devin these would be cute to make for Halloween basket. Cause we always, you know, we have a kid, so we trick or treat and stuff. And so I usually just set a little bowl of candy outside for the apartment kids, cause there's I don't know, maybe 20 of them. So I told Devin I might just pop, you know, make a bunch of these, maybe different colors, um, Halloween colors, and just put them out there. Because <laughs> it's better than candy, right? I don't know if the kids would think that, but I mean, kids like toys, so. Yeah, I think that's so adorable, and it, it worked up super quickly. It'd be good for, you know, like, if your kid goes to school for, you know, the other kid gifts. <laughs> and, um, that I believe the same person, I didn't look around, but I seen a picture of a little Frankenstein one. So, I think they at least have a Frankenstein also. So, they might have other Halloween themed things. I need to get on there and look around. But yeah, so happy National Paranormal Day. Ooh. <laughs> and here's a cute little ghost to celebrate with. It's so cute. Jesse hasn't seen it yet. He's at my mom's, but he's going to love it and want it. <laughs> I made a big one last year. Let's see here. It's a Michelle Estrada's uh, pattern. of a it, Pretty much like this, but bigger. <laughs> and, um... Jesse loved it. I had it as a decoration and he ended up playing with it. And I don't even know where it's at now. It's somewhere. <laughs> in his toys probably. But it is so cute. I love this little thing. I want to make a whole bunch of them. But like purple and green and orange would be cute. And I, they had a, a picture on the website with a little witch hat on. <laughs> so that would be cute too. But I just thought it was cute. Yeah, so today is my third. I'm going to go ahead and just blab. <laughs> um, Saturday was Jesse's birthday. He's officially five years old, which is crazy. He starts school in a few months, which is also crazy, but we had his party yesterday, Sunday the 2nd, because uh, he wanted the jump house and they were all rented for Saturday. So we had the jump house. It was a small, just his family, a little get together, uh, like 12 people, I think. <laughs> and uh, we don't have like a uh, thing in Tennessee anymore about that. Um, it was a lot of fun. I took a bunch of pictures and stuff. I don't know if I'll put any in here. I might do that on my other channel, make a little vlog or something. Um, but we took a, he played on his jump house, he, we had Silly Streamer, they did a pinata, which was a very resilient pinata. <laughs> Daddy ended up having to, uh, help open it. And, uh, we had pizza and cake, and he opened his presents, and it was a lot of fun. We hung out at my mom's all day because, uh, the 
inflatable thingy, whatever it's called, jump house guy brought it that morning and set it up. So we stayed there all day because my mom went to church that morning. And then we just hung out and let Jesse play. And we just waited for time for everybody else to come. <laughs> and then uh, they came and got it last night at 7. I was so tired yesterday. I ate crappy, technically, because we ate Sonic for breakfast. I had one of those grilled cheeses with bacon in it. So good. <laughs> and uh, then I had a Dr. Pepper at the party. And I had pizza and breadsticks and cake. But I still only had um, just under 2,000 calories. But I burned almost 3,000 calories yesterday. So, balance. <laughs> I was happy. I still ended up losing weight from yesterday to today, so I'm happy with that. Uh, that's the kind of dieting I like doing is where you eat what you want, but you just balance it with exercise. Um, so, you know, you eat what you want, but in moderation, and then you exercise, so it just it meets in the middle. <laughs> and uh, I proved that yesterday because I had three sauces of pizza and two red steaks. A piece of cake, but I don't, it was a little piece of cake because I don't really like cake that much. I also like icing. <laughs> and that sandwich thing for breakfast and the Dr. Pepper and then I just drank water like crazy because it's hot and humid because it rained a little bit yesterday early and it was just humid the rest of the day <laughs> and um so yeah I, I burned a lot of calories cleaning up after the party and uh, all that so I was proud I also did a walk yesterday morning but yeah that's crooked because there's a broom laid up against it I, that bothers me but I'm not gonna fix it because yeah <laughs> but anyways I'm blabbing uh, check out this little ghost pattern. I'm gonna look and see if they got other ones. I'm pretty sure they do because I saw Frankenstein and there was a witch hat so that makes me think there was probably a witch. But um, it's super cute and worked up super fast. It'd be a good little treat or if you have like a little group of kids like our karate class I might make little treat bags for them. Mm, it's so exciting. I could put little ghosts in the little bags with a few pieces of candy you know. Okay I might do that. That's a good idea. I'm probably gonna do that. <laughs> but um it's kind of hard to do because sometimes there's a ton of kids. Like well, the other day there was 10 kids and then some days there was like four. And one day it was just Jesse and another kid. So I guess it's just all in the parents' schedules. But um, yeah, I'll just make a whole bunch and whoever shows up on the Halloween day, whenever that is, if they have a party or something, they'll get one. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I'm sidetracking. I gotta run to the post office because me and Jesse got some birthday cards. I wanna go check them out. One of them's for my great aunt. Um, and also got to run to get me some shampoo and conditioner because I'm almost out and I need to wash my hair, you know, got to do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's raining right now, so I don't know if I'll do anything else today. I don't know. We'll see.